So, hi there. Uh, today I would like to show you uh, one of my projects. Uh, well, uh, this time I will be creating a portable uh, soldering station. Here you can see the soldering iron. Uh, it works on 12 volts and uh, it needs only 7.5 uh, watts which is pretty good because uh, you can uh, power it just by uh, 8 1.5 volt batteries uh, here you can see that it has an RCA connector which is also pretty good uh, it has also a removable uh, pin or not uh, here you can see the uh, case where the batteries will be uh, inside you can see uh, the holder for 8 uh, 1.5 volt batteries and the two leads coming out of it and here you can see the uh, on-off switch and uh, some RCA connectors. Uh, I'm just wondering if I'll make there only one output for just soldering station or a few outputs for something else if I want to power up. And I'm also thinking about adding an, adding an LED just for uh, indicating that everything is on. Okay, so basically what I did is that I have inserted the 8 uh, 1.5 volt batteries inside the holder and I also made it, uh, you can just uh, split it up and then get it together. And these are the two test leads, I want to check the voltage uh, and I'll measure it with my multimeter. And uh, here I'll check one second and as you can see it's 12.20 volts, which is enough. Okay. Now uh, you can see that I've uh, inserted these uh, batteries inside the uh, case and you can see it's a pretty nice fit and there's still enough place for, you know, just to take here a uh, switch and the connectors. Okay, so I've drilled a couple of holes and these holes are for our components and then I've soldered the uh, middle pin of the switch and one of the side pins uh, just soldered it two cables so because one will go to one RC connector and second to the second RC connector okay so I've soldered a uh, 1k resistor to a one lead of LED and now I'll try our 12 volt supply and, uh, and we can see that uh, LED is on and it's not getting even warm, so it works. So what I did now is uh, that I have uh, soldered uh, these rings, which connect as a negative leads to uh, a RC connectors, and I've soldered them to the uh, negative wire of our battery power supply, and I also solder it here to a our LED. So what I did now is that I've uh, connected a uh, positive lead to a LED and from there we have uh, one lead and the second lead. These two leads will go to our RCA connector. Now I've soldered both of the RCA connector positive leads and I'll just put them in and get on them those negative leads. So I've put it uh, in the RCA connectors and tightened them up and I've put inside the batteries. Now I'll try to turn it on. Uh, the LED is on, which is also uh, it's always a good sign that something is working. And I have here my multimeter and I will try both of the channels if they work. I'll put it like here. And inside and here. Yes, 12 volts inside. And what about this? 12 volts. So both of the channels work. So this is how you can make your own uh, supply, 12 volt supply. And I'm going to be using it uh, for this, uh, for this uh, southern iron. And in the next video, I'll show you how it works for this soldering iron. So thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you like it.